I have with me here today, the only person who has supposedly survived one of these vicious werewolf attacks, Mr. Mulligan. It all started when my arch nemesis grandpa bet me that I couldn't climb Mount Rushmore using only a stick of butter, two toothpicks, and my chest hair. So that's exactly what I was doing. Climbing Mount Rushmore with only those things, right? Okay, so I'm up there, and then all of a sudden, I heard it. Mm -hmm. I heard what? A howl. Simon Cowell! What now? A howl. It sounded just like this. Arr, I'm a werewolf. Dear God, does anyone else feel that warm liquid going down their leg? So there I was, face to face with the werewolf. He picked me up by the throat. He started swinging me around. Left, right, left, right, he threw me out. What happened next? How did you get out of it? Thankfully, I always carry around my bazooka with me at all times. It's on me right now. So what I did was I pulled it out of my back pocket, I pointed it at him, and I fired it. But he ducked, and I blew up President Nixon's head. Uh, President Nixon's not on Mount Rushmore. Yeah, because I blew it up. Oh, dear God. The werewolf was coming right at me. I thought this was it, but that's when Justin Bieber was standing at the bottom of Mount Rushmore singing his hit song, Sorry. That's his favorite song, so the werewolf was distracted. I made a run for it. I jumped off of Mount Rushmore, broke every single limb, and I broke my mustache too. My mustache hasn't been the same since. Please cut this part out. I am very embarrassed by it. Huh. Don't worry. You have my word. We'll cut it. Anyway, that story was very, very believable and absolutely chilling. Thank you for being so brave and sharing it with us.